What's going on guys? AJ back here with another video for you. Uh, the forecast has not been kind to us. We did not get to test this last weekend and it does not look like we're going to get to test this coming weekend. Uh, the weather up here in Michigan in the spring is always kind of hit or miss. So we're going to kind of talk about how much it costs to get into Legends Racing and what it costs throughout the year to run it. Um, these prices are for Michigan where we race the Midwest and you can make it as expensive or as cheap as you want it. Uh, there are a lot of good deals out there on cars. So I'm going to break this down into three main parts. So your cost of getting into the sport, which is like your car or package, whatever you want to go with when you get into a sport, your weekly costs, which are your pit passes, your tires, your fuel, that kind of stuff and then your maintenance cost. So I'm gonna break that down and hopefully you guys enjoy this video and find it, find it informative. And who knows, maybe you'll end up wanting to get a legend car after this. All right, so your first topic is going to be the cost of getting a car. Uh, I personally recommend getting a car that comes with a package of decent spares. And that's what we went when we got our sedan, but you can get a car anywhere from $4,500 all the way up to $18,995 brand new out the door from US Legends. Uh, it's all going to depend on how much time and effort you're willing to put into it. Up here in Michigan especially, it doesn't really matter which motor you have. Um, yes, obviously the FZ has some advantages, but up here we haven't really seen that the 1250s can't compete with the FZs. So up here, that's not more of an issue. It's more of a driver capability. If you can do it, you're going to be quick. And that's something that when everybody asks me, like, what car should I choose? It's more going to be what can you afford and what do you know how to do on the car? So when we got our car, we didn't really know a ton about like working on cars, but these are super simple to work on and we picked it up super quick. So that's gonna be kind of your range on what you're looking at to get a car. Uh, if it, you're looking for a 1250 car just to get into a sport, you're looking at 4,500 to 9,000, depending on the package you find. Uh, an FZ car for car only, you're looking at anywhere from 11 to 15 and then a brand new car, like I said, is $18,995 currently. Um, so next, we're going to talk about what your weekly costs are going to be. So like your tires, your fuel, and your pit passes and stuff. The first thing we'll talk about is tires. Uh, the good thing about this class is you don't have to buy tires every week. Um, even if you could get them, you don't need to buy them every week. We can get seven to 12 races out of these, depending on the how abrasive the track is uh, without seeing a ton of fall off, which is pretty good for this class. And that means, especially for us, we only run an eight to 10 race schedule. Uh, we only have to really buy one set of tires a year. So right now, currently, a set of new tires, when you can get them, is $171 a tire, which brings that roughly to $670 for a set and that's not going to be an every week cost, but say you're able to get two sets of tires a year and with dismounting and mounting and everything, you're looking at $1,400 there, which in all honesty, isn't terrible considering when you go big car racing, they're buying a set of tires every single week at that number and it gets pretty costly. So in retrospect, yes, the tire price for us has went up, but it's not terrible because you're not spending that kind of money every week. So the next thing is fuel. Uh, we typically run 93 or when we can get it, um, some renegade stuff that's specced by US Legend Cars. But if you run 93, which is probably the most common fuel that people use in Legend Cars, you're looking at the high side of five dollars a gallon. Um, we typically run and burn off five gallons of fuel during the course of an entire night. So that's hot laps, heat race, 
feature. So you're looking at 25 bucks in fuel a night, which is not terrible. And then finally for your weekly costs is gonna be your pit passes. Most tracks in this day and age charge 35 bucks a piece for pit passes, especially up here, which isn't terrible. But if you bring, say five guys, that's 175 bucks a week in pit passes. So add that to your $25 in fuel, that's just say a general number of $200 at track cost every time you go to the track. The fact that you don't have to buy tires every week in this class uh, makes it so that that number is a little bit more manageable. And that's definitely one of the benefits of being in a legend car uh, is not having to buy tires every week. So now we're gonna talk about the final topic and that's maintenance costs. So the last thing we're gonna talk about is week to week maintenance. Um, if you're keeping the car clean, it's not gonna be that expensive for you. It's gonna run you around a hundred bucks and you can do that every three races if you want. You can do it every race. It all depends on how often you're wanting to change oil and spark plugs and gear oil and stuff like that. Uh, the longest I would go is three races and we generally change ours every race just because we can afford it and we're um, trying to keep everything as fresh as we can for as long as we can bef before we have to send it out to get rebuilt. So if you have a year like we had last year and you're knocking some parts and stuff off the car, uh, it can it can get a little pricey, but there's way to there's a way to work around it. Um, fenders, if you knock those off, are generally right now around a hundred dollars. And nine times out of ten, in the, as long as the fender's not completely busted into shreds, you can repair it with some fiberglass patch, and that saves you some money there. Um, if you knock a shock off, right now you can find a decent amount of the Bilsteins for cheap because people are switching over to the AFCOs. Uh, the AFCOs are going to run you around 210 bucks right now if you're not able to rebuild it like... They say you're going to. I haven't had much experience with the AFCOs yet because we don't have them yet. But a lot of this stuff is going to be pretty manageable. And that's what makes this class, at least up here in Michigan, super affordable. So if you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out to me and let me know what it is you're wondering about because we would love to start to build our car count up here in Michigan and the entire Midwest area. Uh, if you're looking to get into racing, this is definitely one of the ways I would recommend to go to see if you like it because the cost to get in versus the cost you can sell everything for isn't going to change that much. So definitely let me know how you like this video. There's not a ton of these videos out here on legend cars when it comes to this topic and up, this is kind of what it would cost up here in Michigan to run. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else you have a question about, want me to add. I'll be glad to answer it. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully the weather starts to improve and we can get on track and shake this thing down before our first uh, race weekend, which is May 12th and 13th. So thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one.